Hey, many fish. Uh, 23rd October 2017. And I wound up back here because I had to. I was just, I was drawn to it again because there's more to show. And the message that I got through it and shared with you yesterday is a pretty heavy message. That's hardcore stuff. Because it is. And I want to make sure that I'm not misleading anyone. Is this truly the message I'm getting? So I came back to the image. And the things that I have found are just beyond comprehension. It's just absolutely fantastical. Bottom line is, yes, this is what we're seeing here. This is occurring or going to occur. This separation literally is going to occur. And what he showed me just now, and there's so much more, but I just want to share this with you. I ain't got much time tonight. So this welcome to the World Series sign, just sitting there all on its own on the dark side. Notice it's on the dark side. And it just came on me. Put that in Gematria, which I never use. I stay away from it because I have a deep distrust of anything that men can get their hands on and manipulate. Mainly because I've been such a liar and a thief my whole life. But Jesus brought me out of that. He saved me. And I want everybody to be saved. But that's what he's showing us right here. And I hope I'm, I'm articulating this properly. Welcome to the World Series. Look what I get when we put this in here. 23, 46. And that's in the Jewish gematria. In the simple, it's 223, which I think most people are familiar with. This is Satan and the Skull and Bones crew that think that they're going to get their hands on the Tree of Life and live forever. And they're going to offer it up to all their minions who serve them. Okay. So there you have it. This number here, I'm going to have to do a whole video on its own. It's just mind-blowing what that number connects to biblically. It's just absolutely out of control. But I wanted to just show you that I was given that confirmation. And this is actually what we're looking at. So regardless of when this separation occurs, you need to know. Jesus Christ. You don't want to be on this dark side. And you ask, you know, how do I get to know Jesus Christ? Ask him. Look around. Notice and recognize with your sound mind that you live in a world of darkness and decay. And it's designed that way. You're not, you're not supposed to be here. You've been trapped, snared, exiled. We've sinned. The woman, wait till I show you what I go into with that other Gematria number. It's amazing. But anyway, I wanted to share that confirmation with you as soon as I got it. Because I think it's important that we, we recognize we are in those days, folks. And it's time to choose who will, you will serve. And I pray that you choose Christ Jesus. Seek him humbly, diligently. Ask him from a sincere, humble heart, and he will answer you. Okay? So, I'll talk to you all soon. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 